Space Station. I'm Ultramath. I will take you and your friends on a journey to better understand your math and with the help of my space gadget. In this episode, we will discuss more on the topic of percentage. Do you still remember the origin of the word percentage? Yes, that's right. It came from the Latin word percentum, which means a hundred. Percentage is important as it describes a proportion in relation of a whole. As I've mentioned in the first episode, percentage is a way of expressing number as a fraction with a hundredth as its denominator. This is used to express how large one quantity is relative to the other. Hmm, and one more important fact to remember is that percent is often denoted using the percent sign. In our first episode, we learned terminology, symbol and the basics of percentage. We also discussed percentage conversion and how to convert percentage to fraction and fraction to percentage. In this episode, we will continue our discussion on percent conversion. We will learn how to convert percentage to decimal number and decimal number to percentage. Just like the first episode, there are rules to follow if we want to do percentage conversion. Let us learn how to convert percentage to decimal number. In this case, there is only one rule to follow. That is, divide percent by 100. This is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the left. Let's convert 70% to decimal number. Remember the rule? Divide the percent by 100. So 70 divided by 100. The answer is 0 0.7. Can you see that this conversion from the percentage to decimal is like moving the decimal point two places to the left? Let us do another conversion. This time we use 65%. Well, there is only one rule to change from percentage to decimal number. That is, divide the percent by 100. So by following the rule, we should divide 65% by 100. 65 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.65. The answer is 0 0.65. The answer we get is just like moving the decimal point two places to the left. How about if we want to do the other way around, that is, to convert decimal numbers to percentage? Is there a rule for that conversion? Of course there is. The rule is to multiply the decimal by 100. That is, equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right. Let us use 0 0.22 or 22 hundredths as a problem. The rule is to multiply the decimal by 100. 
So 0 0.22 multiplied by 100 equals to 22. This is like moving the decimal point two places to the right. The answer is 22%. Now let's convert 0 0.55 or 55 hundredths to a percentage. The rule is to multiply the decimal, which is 0 0.55 by 100, Zero point five five multiplied by one hundred equals to fifty five. It is like moving the decimal point two places to the right. The answer is fifty five percent. Welcome again to the Problem Solving Skills section, Part 2 of Percentage. As before, take out a piece of paper and a pencil. You are going to solve some of the mathematical problems relating to the topic percentage. Ready? Here we go. This question will ask you to convert percentage to decimal. Question 1. Convert 35% to a decimal. There is a rule to follow to convert percentage to decimal. The rule is, divide the percent by 100, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the left. So 35 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.35. The answer is 0 0.35. It is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the left. Let's do another one. Question 2. Convert 7% to decimal. Remember the rule? Divide the percent by 100, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the left. Look at the calculation on the screen. Seven divided by 100 equals to 0 0.07 The answer is 0 0.07 just like moving the decimal point two places to the left. In order to convert decimal to percentage, the rule is to multiply the decimal by 100. This is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right. Question 3. Convert 0 0.02 to percentage. 0 0.02 multiplied by 100 equals to 2. The answer is 2%. Just like moving the decimal point two places to the right. Let's do another one. Question 4. Convert 0 0.9 to percentage. The rule is multiply the decimal by 100. This is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right. 0 0.9 multiplied by 100 equals to 90. The answer is 90%. Just like moving the decimal point two places to the right.
remember to convert percentage to decimal. The rule is to divide the decimal by 100, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the left. A. Convert 1% to decimal. The rule is divide percentage by 100. One divided by one hundred equals to zero point zero one. Just like moving the decimal point two places to the left, the answer is zero point zero one. B. Convert twenty eight percent to decimal. The rule is divide percentage by one hundred. 28% divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.28. Zero Just like moving the decimal point two places to the left, the answer is 0 0.28. C. Convert 52% to decimal. The rule is divide percentage by 100. Fifty two divided by one hundred equals to zero point five two, just like moving the decimal point two places to the left. The answer is zero point five two. D. Convert ninety per cent to decimal. The rule is divide the percentage by one hundred. Ninety divided by one hundred equals to zero point nine. It is like moving the decimal point two places to the left. The answer is zero point nine. In order to convert a decimal to percentage, the rule is to multiply the decimal by 100. This is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right. A. Convert 0 0.3 to percentage. The rule is multiply the decimal by 100. 0 0.3 multiplied by 100 equals to 30. It is like moving the decimal point two places to the right. The answer is 30%. B. Convert 0 0.68 to percentage. The rule is multiply the decimal by 100. Zero point six eight multiplied by one hundred equals to sixty eight. It is like moving the decimal point two places to the right. The answer is sixty eight percent. C. Convert zero point zero six to percent. Rule one multiply the decimal by one hundred. Zero point zero six multiplied by one hundred equals to six. Like moving the decimal point two places to the right, the answer is six percent.
Last question. Convert 0 0.83 to percent. The rule is to multiply the decimal by 100. Zero point eight three multiplied by one hundred equals to eighty three. Like moving the decimal point two places to the right. The answer is eighty three percent. That is all for now. Hope you understand the percentage problem and would not have any problem in percentage conversion. See you in episode three to discuss another interesting mathematic topic. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>